Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now one more thing. For Civils Academy, we are looking for passionate teachers. So if you are interested, please fill a Google form and the form is given in this telegram channel. Please make sure that you read the instructions properly on that form and then fill that form. Okay, now let's start. We are going to cover important news events. So first is Edison Alliance. Edison stands for Essential Digital Infrastructure and Services Network. So this is an alliance which has been launched by WEF that is World Economic Forum to reduce the digital divide. Digital divide means there is a divide between those who can assess the technology and who cannot assess the technology. So to fill this gap, this alliance has been launched by World Economic Forum and it will be chaired by, that means this alliance will be chaired by Hans Westberg. Hans Westberg is the CEO of Verizon. WEF is World Economic Forum. Next is Ranji Trophy. So it is a domestic cricket tournament. It is organized by BCCI and it is organized since 1934-35. Now for the first time in the history, this tournament will not be organized this year because of coronavirus issue. Next is also related to cricket. So BCCI secretary Jaisa has been appointed as the new president of Asian Cricket Council. Actually, he has been elected as the new president of Asian Cricket Council. Asian Cricket Council organize Asian Cup tournaments. Next is related to STARS project. So what is the full form of STARS? It is strengthening, teaching, learning and results for the state's program. So for this program, World Bank is providing financial support. And this is a program for school education. That means to improve the quality of school education. So Ministry of Education has collaborated with World Bank for this program. Next is Chori Chora incident. So it is a name of place in Uttar Pradesh. And during the non-cooperation movement on 4th of February in 1922, Indian people clashed with Britishers. And on this occasion, that means on the completion of 100 years, actually 100 years will be in 2022. So on the completion of 100 years, a centenary event will be started. And it will start from 4th February 2021 and it will go on till 2020. So one year event will go on. That is why this Chori Chora incident was in you. And because of the violence in this incident, Mahatma Gandhi stopped the non-cooperation movement on 12th of February. So a couple of dates are important. On 4th of February, the violence started and then on 12th of February, Mahatma Gandhi ended non-cooperation movement. Next event is related to Bharti Airtel. So it is the first telecom operator in our country to demonstrate 5G services. Recently, they started these 5G services in Hyderabad city for trial basis. Last is related to UNWTO, that is United Nations World Tourism Organization. So as per this organization report, 2020 was worst year on record for tourism sector. Why? Because of coronavirus and because of coronavirus, the international arrivals dropped by 74 percentage. So these were the most important news events. Now test. First question is Govind Vallabh Pant who was in news recently, was the first chief minister of which state? Second question is, National Non-Communicable Disease Monitoring Survey was released recently. It was conducted during which year? Third question is, what is melatonin? Fourth question is, Rafael fighter jets are manufactured in which country? Fifth question is, Davos Dialogue, which was in news recently, pertains to which organization? And last question is, in which country the Mount Merapi is located? Indian Coast Guard. So on 1st of February, it celebrated its raising day. This was 45th raising day. Indian Coast Guard is under MOD, that is Ministry of Defense. Next is ASEAN India Hackathon. So this was organized by Ministry of Education. ASEAN is an association of 10 Asian countries. And the short form for that is BPL TV MMICS. Next is Arun Hydropower Project. So this is related to Nepal. Recently, Nepal awarded this project to Satlas Jal Vidyut Nigam of India. This is a hydropower project. Next is India Justice Report. So this report is prepared by Tata Trust. As per this report, Maharashtra is on top position in justice delivery. So this was the second ed edition of this report. 
Maharashtra is on top position and it is followed by Tamil Nadu and Telangana. Next is India International Silk Fair. So this silk fair was organized by India Silk Export Promotion Council. This is under Textiles Ministry. Now this is India's biggest silk fair. And this silk fair was organized by this India Silk Export Promotion Council and Commerce Ministry sponsored this. Now, please note that India is the only country where all the four major varieties of silk are produced. What are these four major varieties of silk? This is Mulberry, Airy, Tassa and Muga. So these are the varieties of silk and all these four varieties are produced in our country. Next is related to Niti Aayog. So recently Niti Aayog released a vision document for the sustainable development of Little Andaman Island. Next is related to Paul Curzon. So he was the Dutch chemist and he passed away recently. He won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1995. Now he was the one who warned about ozone hole. Now for the protection of ozone, there is a Vienna Convention and there is a Montreal Protocol. The formula of ozone is O3. Next is related to 15, 15th Finance Commission. So recently 15th Finance Commission submitted its final report. Finance Commission is a constitutional body. It is constituted as per the provisions of Article 280. This was 15th Finance Commission. Chairperson of this Finance Commission was Mr. N.K. Singh. Now this 15th Finance Commission recommended the vertical devolution of 41%. Vertical devolution means devolution of financial resources from central government to different states. Last news is related to DICGC that is Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation. So why this DICGC was in news because recently RBI cancelled the license of Sivam Sehkari Bank. This is a Kolhapur based bank. Kolhapur is in Maharashtra. Now since license has been cancelled so now depositors will be given the money as per the provisions of DICGC that is Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation. Now answer in comment box how much amount is insured as per DICGC online shooting championship. So this was the first Asian online shooting championship. It was organized by Kuwait Shooting Federation and in this federation event India won the highest number of medals. The event was organized by Kuwait Shooting Federation and it was first Asian online shooting championship. Next is related to Neptune declaration. So this Neptune declaration is related to the welfare of seafarers. Who are seafarers? These are the people who are employed by the ship owner to do the ship service. Next is Mitra scheme. So what is the full form of Mitra scheme? It stands for Mega Investment Textiles Park. So if you know the full form, it is self-explanatory that it is related to textile sector. The objective is to make our textile industry globally competitive with the help of these textile parks. Next is special visa route for Hong Kong residents. So UK that is United Kingdom has proposed special visa route. That means now UK will provide special facilities to the residents of Hong Kong so that they get an opportunity to become the citizens of UK. Next is related to CPTPP. Actually initially it was TPP that is Trans-Pacific Partnership. Then US left it. Then the remaining countries signed this CPTPP. It stands for Comprehensive and Progressive Trans-Pacific Partnership. Recently, UK announced that it is going to join this partnership. Next is related to Hansen's disease. So Hansen's disease is the name of leprosy. And every year on last Sunday of January, this leprosy day is observed to spread awareness. However, in our country, it is observed on 30th of January on the death anniversary of Gandhiji. Now please note that as per WHO that is World Health Organization, India has the highest number of new leprosy cases annually. Next is Bhavya Lal. So Bhavya Lal is Indo-American scientist. Recently Bhavya Lal has been appointed by NASA as acting chief of staff. NASA is a space agency of USA. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Next is Henry Moniz. So Henry Moniz has been appointed as the first chief compliance officer by the Facebook. See, since he is the first such officer, therefore it is important from exam perspective. Next is Anish Sa. So he has been appointed as the new chairperson of Mahindra Finance. Next is Mr. Rama Mohan Rao. So he has been appointed as the MD and CEO of SBI card. Next is related to World Test Championship. So the final of this championship will be played in Lord's Cricket Ground and it is in England. 
Next is related to BCCI. So BCCI announced that it is going to organize Vijay Hazare Trophy in place of Ranji Trophy this year. There is one more news related to cricket and it is Sek Sayyid Mostaq Ali T20 Trophy. So Tamil Nadu won this trophy by beating Badoda. Recently Tamil Nadu was also in news because of its new industrial policy. Next is World Wetlands Day. So every year on 2nd of February, this World Wetlands Day is observed. Theme of this year was Wetlands and Water. Now please note that on 2nd of February, we celebrate World Wetlands Day because on 2nd of February in 1971, the Ramsar Convention was signed. Ramsar Convention is related to wetland protection. And this time, it is very very significant from exam perspective because this convention is completing its 50 years. Now, as of now, in our country, there are 42 Ramsar sites. The latest entry is Sokar Lake and it is in Ladakh. Next is Sandro Botticelli. So, Sandro Botticelli was an Italian painter. Recently, he was in news because his rare portrait was sold for 92.2 million US dollars. And this is a portrait of young man holding a roundel. So, the only thing that you need to remember is Sandro Botticelli is an Italian painter. National Center for Sustainable Coastal Management. The center is in Chennai. Why it was in use? Because it is going to be our first center for wetland conservation and management. That means first center of India. And this institution is under MOEFCC. That is Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Next is Ford Google. So recently Ford and Google decided to collaborate to cooperate in the field of Cloud services and artificial intelligence. Next is Adi Mahotsav. So it is a national tribal festival. Recently, it was inaugurated by our Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu. Now recently, former Vice President M. Hamid Ansari was also in news because of his book and it is by many a happy incident. Apart from this book, few other books were in news. One is Unscripted. So it is a book by Vidhu Vinod Chopra and it is a book based on his conversation with Abhijit Joshi. Next is The Little Book of Encouragement. So this is a book by Dalai Lama. Next is Mandatory Bargaining Code. So recently this code was in news. It is related to Australia. Actually Australia created a mandatory bargaining code. As per this code, the companies like Facebook and Google will have to pay to the news outlets or media companies for using their news reports. And that is why that means Google is not happy with this decision and that is why Google has even threatened to shut down its search services in Australia. Next is Alert Being Awards 2020. So recently A.R. Rahman and social activist S. Hari Krishnan was selected for this award. A.R. Rahman is music composer and S. Hari Krishnan is social activist. This award was given by NGO Alert. Next is Maya Robo. So it is a new robot. Name of robot is Maya. It has been developed by the students of KLE Technological University. This is in Karnataka. And the unique thing about this robot is that it has been programmed to serve in the banks. That means it is going to respond to your questions in the bank and it is capable of speaking many regional languages. So now with the help of this robot, you can get the answer of the questions in regional language. Next is Merv Hughes. So recently he has been included in the Australian Cricket Hall of Fame. Next is Vaccination Day. So on 30th of January, the polio immunization drive was conducted and on this occasion, 89 lakh children were given the vaccination dose. Next is East Container Terminal. So recently Sri Lanka was in news because of this East Container Terminal. Actually in 2019, Sri Lanka, India and Japan signed an agreement for the development of East Container Terminal at Colombo Port. Now, Sri Lanka is saying that we do not want to partner with any foreign country for this project. That is why it was in news. Next is Atam Nirbharta, that means self-reliance. So, it has been included as the Oxford Hindi word of the year 2020. Next is Andres Antonsen. So, recently, Badminton World Tour was organized in Bangkok. And in men's single category, Andres Antonsen won the tournament. Andres Antonsen is from Denmark. M. H. Chidambaram Stadium. This is in Chepak in Chennai in Tamil Nadu. Why it was in news? Because India is going to host the first international test match amid COVID-19. So this is first test match hosted by India 
in this pandemic situation. That's why it is in use. Next is EESL, that is Energy Efficiency Services Limited. So EESL has signed agreement with Coal India and now EESL is going to help Coal India to reduce its carbon footprint. Carbon footprint means to reduce the emission of carbon. Next is world's first consignment of carbon neutral oil. So recently Reliance quote the world's first consignment of carbon neutral oil from USA. Next is human milk bank. So Kerala's first human milk bank has been started at Ernakulam General Hospital. Please note that Asia's first human milk bank was established in Mumbai and this was established in 1989. Next is Swachh Delhi. So this is an awareness campaign by the Delhi government to make people aware about the benefits of electric vehicles as per the policy launched by the Delhi government. The target is to have 25% of all vehicles in Delhi as electric vehicles by 2024. Next is Har Ghar Pani, Har Ghar Safai. So this is an initiative by the Punjab government. Objective is to promote sanitation and to provide piped drinking water. In this context, recently, Union government also announced Jal Jeevan Mission Urban Component. Next is Gobardhan. So recently, a portal has been launched for monitoring the Gobardhan activities across the nation. This portal has been launched by Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar, Dharmendra Pradhan who is our Petroleum Minister and Giriraj Singh who is Minister of Animal Husbandry and Jal Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh Sekhawal. So what is the objective of this portal? Objective is to support the villages in proper management of their cattle waste. Next is Asok Dinda. So he is cricketer recently he announced his retirement. Next is NDJC. So he is going to be the next CEO of Amazon as recently Jeff Bezos decided to step down. Next is Praveen Sinha. So he has been appointed as the interim director of CBI. CBI is Central Bureau of Investigation. CBI represents India in Interpol. Interpol is International Police. Headquarters is in Lyon in France. Next is Aisa Aziz. So she is India's youngest female pilot. Next is Ajay Singh. So he was in news because he has been re-elected as the president of Boxing Federation of India. Next is Democracy Index. So this has been released by EIU. That is Economic Intelligence Unit. Headquarters is in London. As per the recent report or as per the recent index, India's ranking is 53. India slipped two places as compared to last index. Next is SN Subramanian. So recently, he has been appointed as the chairperson of National Safety Council and he is the CEO and MD of LNT. Next is Lieutenant General CP Mohanty. So he is going to be the next vice chief of army staff. Recently, he assumed his charge. Next is Kapila program. So it stands for Kalam program for intellectual property literacy and awareness campaign. So recently, this program was in news because of a question in parliament and that's why this was in news. Actually, it is an old program which was launched on 15th of October in 2020 and it is named after our former president Dr. Kalam and it is related to the awareness about intellectual property. Next is related to China Global Television Networks that is CGTN. So recently, UK revoked the license of this channel to air its programs in UK. UK is United Kingdom and the broadcasting regulator of UK is Ofcom. So recently it revoked, that means it suspended or cancelled the license of this China Global Television Networks. Next is International Day of Human Fraternity. So this is on 4th of February. 4th of February is also observed as World Cancer Day. So the theme of International Day of Human Fraternity is a pathway to the future. The theme of World Cancer Day was I am and I will. Actually this theme is from 2019 to 2021. So for this time period, this is the theme. These were the most important news events. Now test. First question is Har Ghar Pani Har Ghar Safai mission has been launched in which Indian state or union territory? Second question is who has taken charge as the vice chief of army staff in India? Third question is Mitra scheme is related to which sector? Fourth question is Adi Mahotsav is an initiative of which union ministry? Fifth question is which country has announced that it will formally apply for the Trans-Pacific Trade Association and it is CPTPP. Next question is the ASEAN India Hackathon is an initiative by which Union Ministry? Seventh question is Indo-American Bhavya Lal has been appointed as the Acting Chief of Staff of which organization? Eighth question is who is the author of book titled 
द लिटल बुक ऑफ एनकरेजमेंट एंड नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन इज विच वर्ड इज सेलेक्टेड एज द ऑक्सफोर्ड हिंदी वर्ड ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड टेंथ क्वेश्चन इज हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज अ न्यू एम डी ऑफ एल आई सी नाउ दीज क्वेश्चन आर ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन आवर वीडियोज सो इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू स्कोर मोर देन सिक्स दैट मीन्स यू आर नॉट रिवाइजिंग प्रॉपरली सो दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर द डे थैंक यू रिस्क बेस्ड इंटरनल ऑडिट दैट इज आर बी आई ए सो रिसेंटली रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया लॉन्च दिस रिस्क बेस्ड इंटरनल ऑडिट सिस्टम फॉर नॉन बैंकिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड फॉर अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक सो एज पर द न्यू नोटिफिकेशन बाय रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया ऑल द डिपोजिट टेकिंग एनबीएफसी दैट इज नॉन बैंकिंग फाइनेंस कंपनी प्लस द एनबीएफसी विद एन एसेट साइज ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड करोर्स विल हैव टू फॉलो द सिस्टम अपार्ट फ्रॉम द बैंक अपार्ट फ्रॉम द अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक विद एन एसेट ओवर फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज सो इन सिंपलेस्ट टर्म दिस इज फॉर एनबीएफसी एनबीएफसी हु टेक डिपोजिट प्लस दोज एनबीएफसी हुज वर्थ इज अबो फाइव थाउजेंड करोड़ प्लस इट इज फॉर दोज अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक हुज एसेट साइज इज फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज नेक्स्ट इज युद्ध अभ्यास सो इट इज अ जॉइंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड यूएसए एंड दिस टाइम इट विल बी कंडक्टेड ऑन इंडो पाकिस्तान बॉर्डर नेक्स्ट इज अमित खारे सो रिसेंटली एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड एक टास्क फोर्स टू प्रोवाइड टेक्निकल एजुकेशन इन मदर टंग एंड दिस टास्क फोर्स इज हेडेड बाई मिस्टर अमित खारे नेक्स्ट इज श्रीधर वेम्बू सो द फाउंडर ऑफ जोहो श्रीधर वेम्बू हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज ए मेंबर ऑफ नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजरी बोर्ड एंड दिस बोर्ड इज हेडेड बाई आवर एन एस ए दैट इज नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर हु इज आवर प्रेजेंट एन एस ए इज मिस्टर अजीत डोभाल नेक्स्ट इज रिलेटेड टू एम एच ए दैट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स सो रिसेंटली इट रिलीज ए मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन and the name of application is locate nearest police station so this application will help user to locate the nearest police station next is a collaboration between avitec enterprises and mig mig is an entity of russia this avitec enterprises has partnered with this mig and as per this agreement mig will provide the post warranty support for indian navy's mig 29k and mig 29 kub fighter jets Next is no permission, no takeoff. So this is a policy related to drones. In simplest terms, when you have to fly drone, you need prior approval from the authorities. So there are different zones. For example, green zone. In these areas, you can fly. You just need to inform the authorities about the timing of that flight. That means you can fly drone after informing them properly. In red zones, it is not allowed. And in yellow zones, you first need prior approval. That means you need prior approval. and if they approve you can fly drones in red zone the permission will not be given in any circumstance because these are highly secure areas for example you can consider the area near parliament or near supreme court so these are highly secure areas now recently it was in news because as of now we have 32 green zones so please remember this term no permission no take off the term is self explanatory next is related to cancer so recently cancer day was observed and recently world health organization announced that breast cancer is now the world's most commonly diagnosed cancer previously it was lung cancer but now breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer next is gaznabi so is a mis- so it is a missile system of pakistan it is a nuclear capable missile system next is pandit bhimsen joshi so his birth anniversary is on 4th of feb he is considered as the tansen of india pandit bhimsen joshi was a vocalist from karnataka Recently he was in news because a centenary celebrations event was organized centenary means 100 years so now the year long birth centenary celebrations of pandit bhimsen joshi started from 4th of february and last news is related to maharashtra government so maharashtra government launched a new policy and under this policy it is going to help startup companies to assist them or to help them in filing it patents world sustainable development summit india is going to organize this summit and the theme of this summit is redefining our common future the summit will be inaugurated by prime minister and this will be organized by teri actually it is a flagship event by teri and teri stands for the energy and resource institute next is world's largest offshore wind farm so it will be in south korea right now that means actually south korea is going to build it by 2030 right now the world's largest offshore wind farm is in britain next is sphere x mission so it is a mission of nasa to perform all sky survey to measure the 
near infrared spectrum of galaxies. Now for this mission, NASA has selected SpaceX. SpaceX is a private company of Elon Musk. NASA is a space agency of USA. It stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Next is Square Kilometer Array. So recently this SKAO was in use. SKAO stands for Square Kilometer Array Observatory Council. So recently this council was in use because it approved world's largest radio telescope. So this SKAO is a intergovernmental organization related to radio astronomy and the headquarters is in UK. So this world's largest radio telescope approved by SKAO will be located in two continents, one in Africa. That means it will have array of antenna in two continents, one in Africa and another one is in Australia. Next is world's first high altitude pseudo satellite. So this will be developed by HAL. HAL stands for Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is under Ministry of Defense. HAL was also in use because of Tejas. Tejas is LCA, that is Light Combat Aircraft. Headquarters of HAL is in Bengaluru. Bengaluru is in Karnataka. Next is world's first energy island. So this will be built by Denmark in North Sea. So next is world's tallest swing ride. So this is in Dubai in UAE. Next is beautiful things. So it is a book by son of current US President Joe Biden and name of his son is Hunter Biden. So Hunter Biden is the author of this book and Hunter Biden is the son of current US President. Next is Rishi Ganga Power Project. So this is in Uttarakhand. Recently this power project was in news because of a disaster incident in Uttarakhand. Actually Uttarakhand was in news because of glacier burst. Next is Assam Mala program. So this is a program related to Assam. Under this initiative, the focus will be on road infrastructure and economic growth in the state of Assam. Next is Akhtar Ali. So he was Indian tennis player. He passed away recently. Next is Bikram Singh Bedi. So recently Google Cloud appointed Bikram Singh Bedi as the MD for India. Next is Okonjo Iwela. So Okonjo Iwela is going to be the next DZ. Next DZ that is Director General of World Trade Organization. C is from Nigeria and C is going to be the first female to head this organization. Apart from that, that means C is the first female and C is the first African to lead this organization. Previous one was, that means previous DZ of WTO was Roberto Azevedo. Recently, Roberto Azevedo is from Brazil. Next is Michael Bloomberg. So recently, Michael Bloomberg was reappointed as the climate envoy of United Nations. Next is Joe Root. So he is a cricket player from England. Recently he was in news because he became the first batsman to score 200 runs in his 100th test match. Now these kind of temporary factual questions are important for bank exams. Next is track child portal. So this is a portal which has been developed by Ministry of Women and Child Development to track the missing children, CERT, that is Computer Emergency Response Team. It is under MEITY, that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Now the CERT is the nodal authority in our country for computer related issues. Recently it was in news as it published a statistics that there were approximately 2.46 lakh incidents of cyber security in 20. 90. Next is India's first geothermal field development project. So this will be implemented or this will be executed by ONGC and it is going to be in Leh in Ladakh and this is going to be India's first geothermal field development project. Next is Smagar Siksha scheme. So recently education ministry decided to rename the schools and the hostels established under this Smagar Siksha scheme and these will be renamed after Netaji. Subhash Chandra Bose. Please note that it is his 125th birth anniversary and 23rd of January is going to be celebrated as Prakram Divas and this is the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. So the Samagar Siksha scheme is a scheme by Education Ministry. Recently it was in use because now the schools and hostels under the scheme will be renamed after Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Next is Writing with Fire. So it is an Indian documentary film. Recently it was in news because it has won the award at Sundance Film Festival. Actually it is a documentary film about the Khabar Lahariya. Khabar Lahariya is India's only newspaper which is run by a Dalit woman. 
Next is SARS campaign. So SARS stands for Social Awareness and Action to Neutralize Pneumonia Successfully. So as the name suggests, it is a campaign to prevent the death because of pneumonia. Recently, it was in news because Madhya Pradesh government launched this campaign in the state to reduce the death rate to reduce the death rate because of pneumonia. Next is Cuts International, that is Consumer Unity and Trust Society International. Recently, this was in news because Niti Aayog has assigned the task to this entity to study the economic impact of judgments of our judicial system. For example, due to environmental concern, if a project is suspended, then what is going to be the economic impact on our country because of that judgment? So recently, Niti Aayog assigned this task to this Jaipur-based research organization. Next is General K.S. Thimaya. So recently, he was in news because our president inaugurated a museum dedicated to the life of General Thimaya. He was the chief of army from 1957 to 61. And his ancestral home is in Karnataka. And now it has been renovated and it has been converted into a museum. So General K.S. Thimaya was the army chief from 1957 to 1961. Recently, he was in news because his home has been converted into a museum and recently President Ramnath Kovin inaugurated this museum. Next is Steve Smith. So he's a, he is a cricketer from Australia. Recently, he was in news because he won the Allen Bowler medal. It is given to the best Australian cricketer. Now, one more news was related to cricket and it is related to Isan Sarma. So Indian bowler Isan Sarma became the third Indian pacer, that means fast bowler to take 300 test wickets. Overall, Anil Kumble, Kapil Dev, R. Ashwin, Harbhajan Singh and Jahir Khan have achieved this milestone from Indian side. Next is DGCA, that is Directorate General of Civil Aviation. So recently, Ministry of Civil Aviation and DGCA approved the use of drones by BCCI. So this conditional approval has been given. With this approval, now BCCI would be able to ensure live aerial filming of matches. So that means the top view of the match can be recorded with the help of these drones and for that recently DCCA and Ministry of Civil Aviation has given conditional approval. Next is SDR Tech that is Software Defined Radio Tactical. So these are advanced radio systems. Recently Defense Ministry signed agreement with BEL that is Bharat Electronics Limited and as per this agreement BEL is going to provide these advanced radio systems. So this is a contract worth 1000 crore rupees. These radio systems are developed by DRDO. Next is land identity. So Uttar Pradesh government initiated a system of issuing a unique identity to the land holdings. Like we have Aadhaar cards. So similarly for a land, there will be a unique identity and it is going to be a 16 digit identity. Uttar Pradesh was also in news because of its Varasat campaign. The idea behind this campaign was to resolve the land disputes in the rural areas. So now this land identity is one step ahead in this Varasat campaign. First, the state administration is going to resolve the disputes and then unique identity will be provided to the land areas. Next is 50th Rotterdam Film Festival 2021. So this film festival was in use because of Khojangal. It is the first Tamil film to win the Tiger Award at this 50th Rotterdam Film Festival. Next is Indian Institute of Horticulture Research. So recently this institute was in use because of National Horticulture Fair. So this fair was organized in this institute and it is in Bangalore. Theme of this fair was Horticulture for Startup and Stand Up India. Kerala feeds regular. So this is the term or this is the initiative which has been launched to encourage the goat farming. So name of initiative is Kerala feeds regular. It is for goat farming. As the name suggests, it is for Kerala. Next is PSMA, that is Agreement on Port State Majors. So recently, FAO, that is Food and Agriculture Organization was in use. It was in use in the context of illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. And in this context, there is a agreement. And the name of this agreement is Agreement on Port State Majors. So FAO has requested countries to be the party of this agreement to prevent the illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. Please note that India is not a party to this agreement as of now. So what are the important points? This is related to illegal fishing. That means this PSMA that is 
Agreement on port state measures is related to illegal fishing. It is related to FAO. Recently, FAO requested countries that they should join this agreement. India is not a party to this agreement as of now. Headquarters of FAO is in Rome in Italy and it is a United Nations organization. Recently, it completed 75 years. That's why government launched, that was government of India launched a coin of 75. Maxis COVID warrior memorial. So the people who lost their life because of COVID to commemorate such people, Odisha government is going to create, Odisha government is going to build a memorial to honor such personalities. Odisha was also in news because of its dispute with Andhra Pradesh. Actually, Andhra Pradesh is in news because of its panchayat elections. And in certain panchayats, Andhra Pradesh is ele conducting election. Argument of Odisha is that during last election, these panchayats were in the territory of Odisha. That means Odisha state government conducted elections for these panchayats. This time, Andhra Pradesh is illegally conducted elections in these panchayats. That's why Odisha approached Supreme Court for the decision of Andhra Pradesh to conduct the panchayat election in three villages in Koraput district. That is the entire issue. Next is International Day of Women and Girls in Science. So this is on 11th of February. World Pulse Pulses Day is on 10th of February. It is by FAO, that is Food and Agriculture Organization. The theme was Nutritious Seeds for Sustainable Future. Next is related to INS Virat. So INS Virat was decommissioned. And after that, the process is going on for its dismantling. Now recently, this company, Envitech Marine Consultants Private Limited, approached Supreme Court and they said that they are ready to buy this INS Virat for 100 crore rupees. And then they are going to convert it in museum. That means they requested that this dismantling of INS Virat should be stopped. And in this context, recently Supreme Court put a stay on the dismantling of INS Virat. So for you, the name of company is important. It is Envitech Marine Consultants. It said that instead of dismantling it, we should convert it into a museum. So A, it will help us to preserve our history. Second, this will give us continuous revenue and it will make people aware about our past. Next is index linked insurance policies. So for insurance sector, IRDAI is regulator. Now, what is the meaning of this term index linked insurance policies? That means that returns on these insurance policies will be linked to index. So it may be linked to say Nifty or it may be linked to Sensex. Answer in comment box, the Sensex index is released by which stock exchange? Next is Karnataka Digital Economy Mission Office. So recently to promote the concept of digital economy, Karnataka launched this office. Objective is to increase the contribution of digital economy by 30% of GSDP. What is GSDP? It is Gross State Domestic Product. Next is BioAsia. So the theme of this year's BioAsia is Move the Needle. And this year's BioAsia event will focus on COVID-19. It will focus on pharma and medtech. That is medical technologies. Next is Mukhya Mantri Vigyan Pratibha Pariksha. Vigyan stands for science. It is an initiative announced by Delhi government. Objective is to provide scholarship to the students in the field of science. Next is Houthi. So Houthis are the rebel group in Yemen. Recently Yemen was in news because USA decided to end its support for war in Yemen. Now US administration announced that they are going to remove Houthis from the list of foreign terrorist organization. Houthi is a rebel group and often Iran is accused of supporting Houthi group. Next is Gulmarg. So it is in Jammu and Kashmir. Recently it was in news because Indian Army laid the foundation stone of a national flag in Gulmarg in Jammu and Kashmir. And this is a 100 feet high national flag. Next is Platform Scale. This is the name of book and the author is Sangeet Pol Chaudhary. Next is Sahtut Dam. So India and Afghanistan are going to cooperate for this dam. This is going to be on the tributary of Kabul River. This dam is also known as Lalandar Dam. The capital of Afghanistan is Kabul. Taliban is a militant group active in Afghanistan. Recently, during Doha Dialogue, USA tried to establish peace with Taliban. Last is Voice of Consumer Award. So recently, BIAL, that is Bangalore International Airport Limited, won this award and this award is given by ACI. What is ACI? It is Airports Council International. Robert Irwin. Robert Irwin was in news because he won the Wildlife Photographer of the Year Award. He is from Australia and he won his award for his image bushfire. It is a picture of Australian bushfire in 2020. Now, since this term Irwin is in use, please answer what was the objective of Gandhi Irwin Pact? Next is Hima Das. So Hima Das is also known as Ding Express. Recently, Assam government 
decided to appoint her as DSP that is Deputy Superintendent of Police. She is Indian sprinter and she is from Assam. Recently Assam was also in news as it was the host of 36th National Junior Athletics Championship. Next is Mansa Varanasi. So recently she was in news because she won the VLCC Femina Miss India World 2020 and she is from Telangana. Next is Vijayanagara. So this is going to be the 31st district in the state of Karnataka and this has been carved out from the Bellari. Next is NIIF that is National Investment and Infrastructure Fund Limited. So New Development Bank is going to invest 100 million dollars in this National Investment and Infrastructure Fund Limited and it is going to be a fund of funds. Next is 10 years space program. So recently Turkey announced 10 years space program. The president of Turkey is Razab Tayyab Adugan. Next is CNA that is Chin National Army. So it is a Myanmar based armed insurgent group. Recently it was in news because it has sought asylum for its family members in Mizoram. Recently Myanmar was in news because of coup and in the backdrop of this event USA announced sanctions on the military leaders of Myanmar. Next is Maori people. So these are related to New Zealand. Recently this community was in news because a Maori political leader was ejected when he refused to wear tie in the parliament. Now New Zealand's parliament has dropped the requirement that male members need to wear necktie. That means now they no longer need to wear this necktie. Next is India's first CNG tractor. So recently our road transport minister Nitin Gadkari launched India's first ever diesel tractor that has been converted to CNG that is compressed natural gas. So it was first ever diesel tractor. Next is fossil of world's oldest animal. So these were found in Madhya Pradesh. Next is national Next is International Epilepsy Day. So this is observed on the second Monday of February and this time it was on 8th of February. Apart from that 11th of February was World Yunani Day and 12th of February was Lunar New Year. This 11th of February was also observed as the death anniversary of Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay and this was observed as Samarpan Divas. So which event was observed as the Samarpan Divas, it was the death anniversary of Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay. Next is Unfinished. So this is a book by Prinka Chopra. And last is Koo. So it is an app like Twitter and it is an indigenous app. Gene Cloud Carrier. So Gene Cloud Carrier passed away recently and Gene Cloud Carrier was a novelist and screenwriter from France. Next is related to Indian Railways. So recently Indian Railways created a new record for highest ever freight loading and this is highest ever. So what is new record? It is 119.79 million tons. Next is safer internet day. So it is observed every year on the second day of second week of February and the theme was together for a better internet. Next is police museum on Chambal Dakats. So Madhya Pradesh is going to set up police museum at police headquarters in Madhya Pradesh in Bhind. Next is Jala Abhishekam. So this is a water conservation initiative and recently Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh inaugurated certain water structures. These water structures are made for water conservation and these water structures were constructed in Madhya Pradesh. Next is Mandarin duck. So recently this duck was in news because it was spotted in Assam after 118 years. Usually it is found in Eastern Asia. Next is US Mexico border wall project. So this was a project proposed by US President Donald Trump. As the name suggests, it is a project to make a wall between the US and Mexico. Recently it was in news because new US President Joe Biden has revoked the emergency order that was passed by Trump to construct the wall between US and Mexico. Next is related to DCCA that is Directorate General of Civil Aviation. So recently it was in news because it announced an increment in the fare of air travel. So the upper price band has been increased by 30% and the lower band of price for the shortest route has been increased by 10%. You just need to remember this upper and lower limit. Next is related to leader of opposition in Rajya Sabha. So recently Britain Congress leader Gulam Nabi Ajad retired and now Mr. Malikarjun Kharge has been named as the leader of opposition in Rajya Sabha. Mr. Ajad retired from the Rajya Sabha recently. Turn around India 2020. So this is a book by 
R P Gupta. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news events. So first is Divya Drasti 2021. So this was a seminar related to Indian Army, and this was organized by C L A W S, that is Center for Land Warfare Studies. Next is Meghalaya Police. So recently, Meghalaya Police collaborated with State Bank of India for E Chala. Next is ISRO. ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization. Recently, it collaborated with C E Info Systems. Actually, there is a Entity of CE Info Systems and it is Map My India. So Map My India is an entity of CE Info Systems. ISRO is under Department of Space. Recently, this Department of Space signed an agreement with CE Info Systems. Objective is to give a boost to the India's own navigation system. What is the name of our own navigation system? It is NAVIC. It is I R N S S. That is. Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. It is also known as NAVIC, and it has been developed by ISRO. Now, answer in comment box. NAVIC is a constellation of how many satellites? Next is Chirag Project. So, the full form of Chirag stands for Chhattisgarh Inclusive Rural and Accelerated Agricultural Growth. So, it is a project for agricultural sector, and World Bank is going to provide financial support, and it is a project related to Chhattisgarh. Next is LOC, that is Line of Credit. So recently, Exim Bank provided 400 million dollars as a line of credit to Maldives. Next is related to ISRO. So there is a satellite center of ISRO, and the name of the center is U R Rao Satellite Center, and it is in Bengaluru. Recently, ISRO opened this satellite center for testing the satellites which are developed by the private sector, and ISRO has done this for the first time in the history. That means it has opened the center for testing of private satellites. Recently, two satellites which were Developed by Indian startups, what tested at this U R Rao Satellite Center. These two satellites are Space Kids India and Pixel. Pixel is incorporated as Sigzi. Next is N E G P A, that is National E Governance Plan in Agriculture. So this is a centrally sponsored scheme. In our last video, we already discussed the difference in centrally sponsored and central sector scheme. Recently, it was in news because the scheme has been extended up to March 2021. So it has been extended up to. 31st of March 2021. Next is Digi Locker app. So, like you have physical locker, this is a digital locker. And IRDAI, that is Insurance Sector Regulator, has advised to the insurance companies to issue the digital insurance policies using this Digi Locker app. IRDAI stands for Insurance Regulatory Authority of India. Now, this Digi Locker is an initiative by MEITY, that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Next is Women Excellence Award 2021. So this is an award by SERB, that is Science and Engineering Research Board. So four personalities were selected for this award. These are Sobhna Kapoor, Antra Banerjee, Sonu Gandhi, and Ritu Gupta. SERB is an institution under DST, that is Department of Science and Technology. Recently, this Department of Science and Technology was also in news because of Vigyan Jyoti. This Vigyan Jyoti initiative was in news because its second phase. Was launched on 11th of February. 11th of February is special because this day is celebrated as International Day of Women and Girls in Science. Vigyan Jyoti is an initiative to promote girls to take interest in science, and this is an initiative of DST, that is Department of Science and Technology. Next is Yoshihiro Mori. So he was the chief of Tokyo Olympic Organizing Committee. Recently, he was in news because he is going to resign as the chief. Of Tokyo Olympics Organizing Committee. Please note that Tokyo is the host of 2021 Olympic Games. Tokyo is in Japan. Next is Mario Draghi. So Mario Draghi is going to be the new Prime Minister in Italy. And last is related to Sarojini Naidu. So her birth anniversary was celebrated as National Women's Day, and it was on 13th of February. C is known as Nightingale of India or Bharatiya Kokila. 13th of February is also celebrated as World Radio Day. On the other hand, 12th of February is the birth anniversary of Swami Dayanand Saraswati, and he was the founder of Arya Samaj. 12th of February is also celebrated as National Productivity Day, and this is celebrated by National Productivity Council. This National Productivity Council is under Commerce Ministry. So these were the most important news events. Thank you. And that's all for the day. Meri Saheli Initiative. It is an initiative by Indian Railways to provide safety to the women passengers. Next is Rashtriya 
Sanskriti Mahotsav. So it is an initiative of Ministry of Culture. And this time, West Bengal is the host of this initiative. So two important points. Host state is West Bengal and Nodal Ministry is Ministry of Culture. And this is going to be 11th edition of this Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav. So it intends to show the rich cultural heritage of our country. Next is Netwire. So it is a malware. Malware stands for malicious software. Next is Baba. So it is a missile which was successfully tested by Pakistan. Next is HP India. So recently HP India collaborated with NSDC that is National Skill Development Corporation to provide the skills to the students. Next is Year of Ox. So this year that means 2021 is celebrated as Year of Ox as per Chinese Jodai. Next is Steven Spielberg. So recently Steven Spielberg was selected for 2021 Genesis Prize of Israel and Steven Spielberg is from USA. This award was given to him for his contribution to the world of cinema and his philanthropic work. So usually this award is given for the personal and professional achievements. This time it was given to Steven Spielberg who is from USA. Award is related to Israel. Name of award is Genesis Prize. Next is e-dealer scheme. So for this scheme, Punjab National Bank that is PNB collaborated with Indian Oil Corporation. So under this agreement, Punjab National Bank is going to provide credit facilities to the dealers of Indian Oil Corporation. Next is International Criminal Court. So this is a Hague based court and it is based on Rome Statute. India is not a party to this agreement. Now recently it was in news because ICC that is International Criminal Court elected Kareem Khan as new prosecutor and Kareem Khan is from Britain. There is one more ICC, it is International Cricket Council. The headquarter of this council is in Dubai. Dubai is in UAE. Recently, UAE was in news because of its Hope Probe. Hope Probe is its mission on Mars. One more mission was in news and it is Tianwen 1. Answer in comment box, this Tianwen 1 is the mission on Mars of which country? Next is BBC World News. So, China banned this BBC World News from broadcasting. Actually, one week ago, British media regulator put limitations on CGTN in UK. What is CGTN? It is China Global Television Network. So first, Britishers banned this China-based television network and in retaliation, now China has banned this BBC World News. Last is related to IIT Delhi. So for the underwater domain of novel electronic system, IIT Delhi has collaborated with Indian Navy. Fast tag. Fast tag is for toll payments that means for the payments on road toll and fast tag is based on rfid so in examination they may directly ask you fast tag is based on which of the following aspects so it is based on rfid that is radio frequency identification now why fast tag was in use because from 15th of february fast tag is compulsory at all toll plazas and this was recently announced by ministry of road transport and highways so fast tag is an electronic toll collection system and it is operated by NHAI. What is NHAI? It is National Highway Authority of India and it is under Ministry of Road Transport. Next is Justice P.V. Sanjay Kumar. So Justice Kumar has been appointed as the Chief Justice of Manipur High Court. Next is 2000 metric tons of rice. So recently India provided humanitarian assistance to Syria and as a part of this humanitarian assistance we provided rice to Syria. Syria is a country in West Asia. Answer in comment box whether Syria shares border boundary with Turkey or not. Next is Arjun main battle tanks. So first thing first Arjun is a type of main battle tank and recently Prime Minister handed over these indigenously developed Arjun main battle tanks to the Indian Army. So A these are indigenous B these were handed over to Indian Army. So what is the meaning of this term indigenous that means made in India. So these are manufactured by CVRDE. What is CVRDE? It is Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment. So first it is based in Chennai. Second it is a part of DRDO. That means it is a unit of DRDO. DRDO stands for Defense Research and Development Organization. Next is Green Super Ministry. So recently Mario Draghi became the new Prime Minister of Israel. So recently Mario Draghi became the new Prime Minister of Italy and to focus on the climate change agenda he had set up green super ministry in the government of Italy. The objective is to focus on the green energy. Next is Rashmi Savant. So recently Rashmi Savant from Karnataka was in news 
as she became the president of Oxford University Students Union and she is the first Indian to become the president of Student Union of Oxford University. Next is Flipkart. So recently Flipkart collaborated with Maharashtra government to promote wooden toys and local handicrafts. Next is Jyoti Malhotra. Please note that it is name of a male. So recently Mr. Jyoti Malhotra became the chief of Volvo Cars in India and he is the first Indian to head the Volvo Cars India. Volvo is a company of Sweden. The previous head was Charles Trump. Next is Mark Listosella. So recently he has been appointed as the new CEO and MD of Tata Motors. Next is Ramanjun Machine. So Ramanjun is the name of famous mathematician from India and recently this machine was in use as it has the potential to reveal the hidden relationship between the numbers. Next is Corporate India Risk Index. So this is index released by ICICI Lombard. Next is Mandu festival. So this festival was in use and it is celebrated in Madhya Pradesh. Next is the terrible, horrible, very bad good news. So this is the name of book by Meghna Pant. Next is Sagrika. So Sagrika was in news as recently it was launched and it is India's first full fledged international cruise terminal. And this is being set up at Cochin port in Kerala. And last news is Starstruck Confessions of TV Executive. So it is a book by Peter Mukherjee. China. So recently China surpassed USA and now China is the biggest trading partner of European Union. Next is related to cricket. So Naman Ojha recently announced his retirement. He was a cricketer. Next is Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. So Lieutenant Governor was Kiran Bedi. Recently she has been removed as the LG of Puducherry. And the additional charge was given to Governor of Telangana and the Governor of Telangana is Tamilisai Sundarajan. Next is Dickinsonia. So the fossils of world's earliest known living animal were found recently and it is Dickinsonia and these fossils were found in Bhimbetka rock shelters and Bhimbetka caves are in Madhya Pradesh. Next is Aman 2021. So this was a exercise organized by Pakistan and this was organized in Arabian Sea. Next is Iran Russia maritime exercise. So India had joined this Navy exercise of Iran and Russia. Next is NS Vishwanathan. So recently Reserve Bank of India constituted eight member expert committee on the primary urban cooperative banks. And this committee will be headed by NS Vishwanathan. This committee has been constituted to examine the issues faced by these urban cooperative banks and to suggest the measures to strengthen this sector. Next is Ajay Mathur. So Mr. Mathur was in news as he became the new DZ that is Director General of ISA. What is ISA? It is International Solar Alliance. Who was previous Director General? He was Upendra Three Party. What is ISA? ISA is the first treaty based international organization to be based in India. Headquarters of ISA is in Gwal Pahadi in Gurugram in Haryana. And the foundation of ISA is based on the COP21. That is Conference of Parties number 21. It was organized in Paris in 2015. Next is M. Rama Joyce. So former just and former governor of Bihar and Jharkhand M. Rama Joyce passed away recently. Next is best marching contingent trophy. So this trophy was given to Delhi police. Next is Kanchot festival. So this festival was celebrated in the Chena Valley region of Jammu and Kashmir. Next is E. Chauni. So recently defense minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated this E. Chauni initiative. And this is a portal to provide the municipality services to the cantonment boards. Next is Abhyodhya scheme. So it is a scheme by Uttar Pradesh and as per this scheme, state government will provide the coaching facilities to the students for JEE and for NEET. Next is Preeti Sinha. So recently Preeti Sinha was in news as she has been appointed as the executive secretary of United Nations Capital Development Fund. Next is Prinka Goswami. So recently Prinka Goswami from Uttar Pradesh was in news as she won the women national open race walking championship and this championship held in Rachi. Rachi is in Jharkhand. In male category, Sandeep Kumar won this championship. Next is related to some sites in Nepal. So three locations were in use. One is Seto Machindrana Temple. Second is Dharamsala at Budh Nilkant and third is conservation of Kumari home. So India is going to support Nepal for the conservation and restoration of these three cultural heritage sites. That means India is going to provide the financial support to the Nepal for these three sites. So in exam they may ask you that for example this Seto Machindrana temple is situated in which country. 
Next is Sanctuary Lifetime Services Award. So this was given to S. Theodore Bhaskaran. Next is Tunisia. So recently Tunisia was in news as Indian Economic Trade Organization signed an agreement with Tunisia to boost up the economic ties between India and Tunisia. Next is Jute. So recently Jute Seed Distribution Scheme was announced. Under the scheme, Jute seeds will be given to the farmers and this will help in the increment of farmers income. Why so? Because and these seeds will be distributed with the help of National Seeds Corporation. So this initiative was recently rolled out by Textiles Nistra Smriti Iran. Next is Sigur Plato. So this is in Tamil Nadu in the Nilgiri Hills. Recently it was in news because black stoke was spotted in the Sigur Plato in Nilgiris in Tamil Nadu. Usually this black stoke is not found in this area. As per IUCN status, the status of black stoke is least concerned. Next is malaria. So as per recent report, malaria is the region of highest number of death in terms of death by vector bone diseases. And last is Ravi Chandran Aswin. So he became the second highest wicket taker in test matches after Anil Kumble. Japan. So recently Dr. Thangjam Dabali Singh has been conferred the Order of Rising Sun Gold and Silver Rays. And this award is given by Japan. Dr. Dabali Singh is from Manipur. Next is Mr. Ajay Malhotra. So Mr. Malhotra became the first Indian to be the chairperson of advisory committee at Human Rights Council. The chairperson of this Human Rights Council is Nazhat Sami. So C is from Fiji. Please understand the difference that C is the head of this council. On the other hand, Mr. Ajay Malhotra is the head of this advisory committee of this council. And Mr. Ajay Malhotra is the first Indian to be on this post. Next is Indian Sign Language Dictionary. So recently, Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment, Mr. Thawarchand Gehlod, launched the third edition of this dictionary and it contains 10,000 terms. Next is Sandes. So it is a new platform that has been launched by NIC, that is National Informatics Center. NIC is under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So what is the objective of this Sandes platform? It is GIMS, that is Government Instant Messaging Systems. So with the help of this platform, government officials can communicate with each other. It is similar to WhatsApp. So it can be used for all kind of communications by anyone using a mobile phone or email ID. Next is SARC, that is South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. The headquarters of SARC is in Nepal in Kathmandu. Recently it was in news because India organized a virtual health secretary level meeting of SARC members. Members of SARC are MBBS Pain. Next is Pajal Servection. So recently, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs launched this pilot project. The name of project is Pajal Servection. So this project has been launched in 10 cities. Objective is to provide universal coverage of water supply. So this project is related to water supply as the name suggests Jal. So this water supply is related to SDG 6. SDG stands for Sustainable Development Goals. And this project is in accordance with SDG 6. Next is World Solar Bank. So this is an initiative of ISA. ISA stands for International Solar Alliance. So ISA is going to launch this World Solar Bank at COP26. COP26 is related to UNFCCC. That is United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. And it is going to be in Glasgow. It is in UK. UK is going to be the host of G7 Summit as well. Next is Siberian Mammoths. So recently, oldest DNA on record was recovered from the teeth of Siberian mammoths. Next is news media and digital platforms mandatory bargaining code. So recently, Australia was in news because of this code. And as per this code, the digital platforms like Facebook and Google will have to pay to the media companies if they are going to use their content. So in the backdrop of this incident, Facebook has recently blocked the Australian users from reading and sharing new content. Recently, Google was also in news because of this code and Google has signed agreement with 7 West Media. As per this agreement, Google is going to pay to this media entity for using its content. And therefore, it is the first major media group in Australia to sign a licensing deal with Google under this mandatory bargaining code. Next is Ashoka, a sutra. So it is the name of book and it will be authored by Irvin Allen. Next is Scotch Chief Minister of the Year Award. So recently, 
Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y S Jagan Mohan Reddy was selected for this award. X is Quad. Quad stands for Quadrilateral Security Dialogue. Four countries are the part of Quad, and these four countries are our country, USA, Australia, and Japan. Recently, it was in news because the third meeting of Quad held virtually. The first meeting of Quad held in New York. Second meeting held in Tokyo. Tokyo is in Japan. Next is IIF, that is Institute of International Finance. So recently, it re released a report, and as per that report, world has never been so much in debt. And as per 2020, the world debt is 281 trillion. This is approximately 355. percentage of global gdp next is global covid-19 vaccination plan so recently un secretary general antonio guterres asked g20 countries to prepare a vaccination plan so this is related to g20 nations next is cecpa that is comprehensive economic cooperation and partnership agreement so recently india approved this partnership agreement with mauritius capital of mauritius is port louis next is tiger x1 So it is a new concept vehicle by Hyundai, and it is a walking car robot. Next, Amazon India. So recently, Amazon India was in news because it is going to start manufacturing of electronic products in our country, and this will be done with the help of cloud network technology. So Amazon is going to collaborate with cloud network technology for the manufacturing of electronic products in our country. and this cloud network technology is a subsidiary of foxconn and the manufacturing unit is going to be set up in chennai and first they are going to manufacture the fire tv stick next is pahadi billa so it is the name of team which won the kho kho super league champions trophy next is fridays for future so this is an initiative by greta thunberg and greta thunberg is environment activist from sweden what is the objective of this Fridays for Future objective is to encourage students to hold a strike on every Friday to pressurize the government to take actions against climate change. So why this was in news recently? Because in India, Disha Ravi is the co-founder of this Fridays for Future. Recently, she was arrested by the police in toolkit case. So obviously, this arrest itself is not important from exam perspective, but in exam they may ask you that what is the objective of this Fridays for Future? and they they can give you that it is related to education health environment or any other option so you just need to remember this much mahabahu brahmaputra so this is the name of initiative which has been launched to provide the seamless connectivity to the eastern india it will have various developmental projects as well for the project it will have various developmental projects for the people who are living near this brahmaputra river next is snakepedia so this is name of mobile application that has been launched by the doctors and scientists in kerala what is the objective objective is to provide all the relevant information about snakes so that people can get to know more about it and the doctors can treat snake bites next is georgi gakharia so recently the prime minister of georgia resigned and the name was georgi gakharia next is go electric campaign so this is a campaign by ministry of road transport and highways present minister is nitin gadkari recently this ministry was also in news because of fast tag next is aero 4 so israel was in news because of this aero 4 anti missile system so it is related to israel and it is anti missile system recently it was in news because israel started development of this anti missile aero 4 system with the help of usa next is india tourism mart so recently this india tourism mart was organized This was the third edition, and it was organized by FAITH. What is FAITH? It is Federation of Associations in India Tourism and Hospitality. So you need not to remember the full form, but you should know that this is a federation, and it is related to tourism and hospitality. Next is Ma Samleshwari Shrine. So recently, Odisha government announced this developmental package for this shrine. It is in state of Odisha, and recently. This development work of the shrine has been launched as a part of this Sameli project. What is the full form of this project? It stands for Samleshwari Temple Area Management and Local Economy Initiatives. This is related to the state of Odisha. Next is Nurturing Neighborhood Challenge. So this challenge is related to Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. As per the challenge, 25 cities will be selected 
objective is to focus on the development in these cities to improve the quality of life. Next is software defined radio. So recently DRDO developed a device and it is SDR that is software defined radio. So this is a new device which has been developed by DRDO and it is going to replace CNR. What is CNR? It is combat net radio. So this SDR will provide the data transmission capability. The CNR supported only voice communications. So this was the name of previous device that is CNR was the previous device. Now DRDO has developed an upgraded system and this is SDR. It will be able to transmit data as well. Next is tree city of the world. So for 2020 Hyderabad has been selected as the tree city of the world. And what does it show? It shows the commitment of Hyderabad towards urban forestry. Please note that so far Hyderabad is the only Indian city to get such recognition. Last is related to cricket. So recently Kings 11 Punjab changed its name and the new name is Punjab Kings. Apart from that recently South African cricketer Faf Duplessis was also in news as he announced his retirement from the test cricket. And third news is related to Chris Morris. So recently he became the most expensive player of the IPL. What is IPL? It is Indian Premier League. Important news events. So first is Green Pass. So this is related to Israel. Actually Israel is giving this pass to those who are vaccinated. So once people are vaccinated they can visit different places and that is why this pass or green pass is given to them. Next is Kelo India University Games. So first Kelo India University Games held in Odisha in Bhuneshwar and this time these are going to be organized in Karnataka. Recently Karnataka was also in news as it is going to set up flower processing center. Next is subcategorization of OBC. OBC stands for other backward classes. So for subcategorization government had constituted G Rohini committee. Then why this issue was in news recently because there is a commission NCBC that is National Commission for Backward Classes. Recently this commission was in news as a chairperson of this commission Bhagwan Lal Sahani informed that commission is in favor of four subcategories of OBC. That's why this entire issue was in news. Next is Buddha's rice. So Uttar Pradesh is going to export Kala Namak rice to Singapore and this rice is also known as Lord Buddha's Prashad and that is why it has been branded as Buddha's rice. Please note that it is a non Basmati rice. Next is making peace with the nature. So this is a report released by UNEP that is United Nation Environment Program. Next is Kandla forest. So this forest is in Karnataka. Recently it was in news because Karnataka government is planning to designate this area as biodiversity hotspot. Next is Khajuraho dance festival. So Khajuraho temples are in Madhya Pradesh and they are in Chhatrapur district of Madhya Pradesh. So this dance festival is organized in the premise of these temples. Next is Rashtra Pratham that is nation first. So recently Home Minister Mr. Shah released this book and it is a book about the glorious history of CRPF. CRPF was raised in 1939. So this book contains the glorious history of CRPF and it is about 82 years of CRPF. Next is India's top trading partner. So China is our top trading partner in 2020. Next is State Bank of Sikkim. So now it will be under the regulation of Reserve Bank of India. Please note that so far RBI was acting as a banker to all the state governments except state government of Sikkim. Next is Keto Profen. So first thing first it is in news because of the decision of Bangladesh. So what is this Keto Profen? It is a painkiller which is used to treat the cattle. But the problem is that this is toxic to vultures. So when these cattle die, these vultures feed on them. And because of this painkiller, these vultures also die. So that's why Bangladesh became the first country to ban this painkiller Ketoprofen. A similar painkiller is Diclofenic. And this is banned in our country. Why so? Because it was toxic to vultures. And this led to the decline in population of vultures. Recently, one more country was in use in the context of these medicine and it was Oman. So recently Oman became the first country in Arabian Peninsula to ban the veterinary use of diclofenic to conserve the population of vultures. Next is Veena Swami. So he was the chief minister of Puducherry. Recently 
his government lost majority and that's why he resigned. Actually, there is a politics game going on in Puducherry. Recently, the Union Territory was also in news as Kiran Bedi, who was the Lieutenant Governor of Union Territory, she was removed and new governor was Tamilisai Sondrajan. So now, the Chief Minister resigned to Tamilisai Sondrajan. Why? Because he lost the majority in Union Territory. So, right now, we have three Union Territories where we have Legislative Assembly. One Union Territory is Delhi, another is Puducherry, and third is Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. And in this Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, the Legislative Assembly has not been constituted so far. Next is airport in Uttar Pradesh. So recently two airports were in use. First is airport of Ayodhya. So it is going to be renamed after Lord Ram. So the name is going to be Mariada Purushottam Sri Ram Airport. Second airport is Jewar Airport. So recently it was in use because the Uttar Pradesh government is going to build it as Asia's biggest airport. The official name of this Jewar Airport is Noida International Greenfield Airport. Next is IIT Council. So recently this IIT Council was in use because it set panels for the autonomy of IIT institutions. This IIT Council is chaired by MHRD Minister, that is Minister of Human Resource Development. Present Minister is Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. This MHRD has been renamed as Ministry of Education. Next is Lieutenant General B.S. Raju. So he was in news because recently he has been appointed as new DGMO, that is Directorate, that is Director General of Military Operations of Indian Army. Last is Jan Ganman. So it is our national anthem. Recently it was in news because for the first time it was played in the Assembly of Nagaland. Nagaland became a full-fledged state in 1963. And recently, for the first time, this was played in the State Assembly of Nagaland. Carbon Watch. Recently, Chandigarh became the first union territory to launch a carbon watch. So this is a mobile application which will show the carbon footprint of an individual. What is the meaning of this term carbon footprint? It means carbon emission by an individual or by a particular human activity. Next is Federal Parliament of Nepal. So recently, Parliament of Nepal was in use. First thing first, it is a bicameral. Bicameral means like we have two houses. Similarly, Federal Parliament of Nepal have two houses. One is National Assembly and second house is House of Representatives. Recently, this House of Representatives was in use because few months ago, the Prime Minister of Nepal, K.P. Sarma Oli, recommended that the President of Nepal should dissolve this and should announce fresh elections. Now, this has been overturned by the Supreme Court of Nepal and the court ordered the government that they should organize the next session within next 13 days. So that's why this entire issue was in use. The president of Nepal is Vidya Devi Bhandari. Next is Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. So he was the first education minister of independent India. Recently, he was in use because 20th of February, is his death anniversary. So he was the first education minister of independent India and he was the founder of ICCR that is Indian Council for Cultural Relations. Next is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So as the name suggests it is an initiative related to health sector. Recently India became the first country to identify the need of action for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Next is Nagaland World Bank. So recently World Bank and Nagaland signed an agreement to improve the quality of school education in Nagaland. Next is TRAI, that is Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. So recently TRAI was in news because the former chairperson of TRAI, Rahul Khullar, passed away. Next is Maritime India Summit. So this summit will be organized in March. It will be inaugurated by our Prime Minister and it is a flagship event of Ministry of Sipping and the theme is Exploring the potential business opportunities. Actually, the full theme is exploring the potential business opportunities in Indian maritime sector and making Atam Nirbhar Bharat. Next is 100 million. So recently, India signed a 100 million defense deal with Mauritius. Mauritius was also in use because India signed CECPA, that is Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Partnership Agreement. And Mauritius is the first African country with which India has signed such agreement. Next is National Urban Digital Mission. So recently, two ministries announced this mission. First is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and second is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Objective is to create digital infrastructure in 
cities. So, the city's component is related to Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Digital infrastructure is related to Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So, that's why they are going to collaborate. Apart from that, recently, two more initiatives were announced by the government. One is IUDX, that is Urban Data Exchange. And second initiative is Smart Code Platform. Next is Anjali Bharadwaj. So, she is RTI activist. RTI stands for Right to Information Act. So, recently she was in news because she has been selected for US, that is United States International Anti-Corruption Champions Award. Next is Loneliness Minister. So, recently to prevent the increasing rate of suicides, Japan announced to create a separate ministry and the minister is Mr. Shakamoto. So, that's why it was in news. Next is Central Excise Day. So, this was organized on 24th of February and it was organized by CBEC, that is Central Board of Excise and Customs. Next is PM Kisan Samman Nidhi. So, recently this scheme was in use because it completed two years. It was launched by the government in 2019 on 24th of February. This was launched in Gorakhpur. So, it is a scheme under which financial assistance is provided to the people. Total 6,000 rupees are provided and these are provided in the installments of 2000. So, three installments of 2000 are provided. Previously, there was a land ceiling limit for the scheme. But now, this land ceiling limit has been removed. That means all the farmers are now eligible irrespective of their land holding size. Next is Safurti. So, it is an old initiative. It stands for Scheme of Fund for Rejuvenation of Traditional Industries. So, as the name suggests, it is for the revival of traditional industries. Recently, it was in news because MSME Minister Nitin Gadkari inaugurated for inaugurated 50 artisan based clusters this number is not important but you should know what is the full form of safurti and it is related to which sector so it is for the revival of traditional industries so it is a fund for that project diwali initiative the full form of this diwali initiative is dutch indian water alliance for leadership initiative so this term is self explanatory you just need to remember that diwali initiative is related to Water Alliance between India and Netherlands. What is the meaning of this term Water Alliance? That means both countries are going to collaborate to find out the solutions for the water related problems. Next is Pagadi Sambhal Divas. So, in 1907, there was a movement against Britishers and this movement was Pagadi Sambhal and this movement was led by Mr. Ajit Singh. Mr. Singh was the uncle of Sahid Bhagat Singh. So, this movement was a farm agitation against the Britishers and this movement was started to protest against the three laws which were introduced by the Britishers and these laws were related to agriculture sector. Now, why it was in news recently? Because now farmers are protesting and they celebrated 23rd of February as this Pagadi Sambhal Divas just to commemorate the 1907 movement against new laws which were introduced by the Britishers. Next is Central Employment Guarantee Council. So recently this council was in news because of its meeting. So recently 22nd meeting of this council was organized. First thing first, who is the chairperson of this council? So MORD that is Union Minister of Rural Development is the chairperson and this council is constituted as per the provisions of MG Narega that is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. So, this is an act of 2005 and as per the provisions of section 10 of this MG Narega, this Central Employment Guarantee Council is constituted. Next is world's largest cricket stadium. So, this is in Gujarat in Motera. Why it was in news recently? Because it has been now renamed after our current Prime Minister. Please note that this stadium is a part of a larger complex. And in this complex, there are different stadium. So, this cricket stadium is one part of it. The name of this complex is named after Iron Man of India or Sardar Vallabhai Patel. There was quite political controversy about this renaming process. But from exam perspective, you just need to remember this that it is in Gujarat. That means world's largest cricket stadium is in Gujarat. And to be specific, it is in Motera in Ahmedabad. And this place, this Motera lies on the west of Sabarmati river. Who is popular? Now one question for you. Who is popularly known as Sabarmati ke son? Next is Vijay Sapla. So recently Mr. Sapla was in news as he has been 
appointed as the new chairperson of NCSC that is National Commission for Scheduled Caste. Please note that Article 338 contains the provision for National Commission for Scheduled Caste. That means it is a constitutional body. So three important bodies are NCSC that is National Commission for Scheduled Caste then NCST that is National Commission for Scheduled Tribes and third is NCBC that is National Commission for Backward Classes. So Article 338 contains the provision for this. Article 338A contains the provision for this and Article 338B contains the provision for this. One important point is that this NCBC used to be a statutory body. Recently it was given the constitutional status. Now please answer in comment box through which constitutional amendment act this was given the status of a constitutional body. These two that is NCSC and NCST used to be one but through this 89th constitutional amendment act these two were separated. Next is finance ministry allows all private banks to participate in government business. Actually previously few top level private banks were allowed to participate in the government business. Now finance ministry allowed all the private banks to participate in it. So why this was done? This was done to promote a sense of competition and this will promote efficiency in this sector. Next is Linda Thomas Greenfield. So Linda Thomas was in news because recently USA appointed Linda Thomas as US Ambassador to United Nations. Next is COVAX initiative. So it is an initiative of three important entities. One is World Health Organization, another is CEPI that is Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovation and third is Gavi that is Global Vaccine Alliance. So the objective of this initiative that means objective of this COVAX initiative is to provide vaccines to the poor and to the least developed countries. Recently, this initiative was in use because Ghana became the first country to receive free COVID vaccines through this COVAX alliance. The headquarters of CEPI is in Oslo. Oslo is in Norway. Headquarters of Gavi is in Geneva in Switzerland. Recently, WHO was in use because USA decided to rejoin WHO. Next is Fino Payments Bank. So recently, this was in use because this has been elevated to the status of SCB that is scheduled commercial bank. So recently RBI provided it the status of scheduled commercial bank. Now please answer in the comment box. Scheduled commercial banks are included in which schedule of RBI Act of 1934. Today's homework questions are a bit complicated because I want you people to dig little more. Next is news media and digital platforms mandatory bargaining code. So we have already discussed this code in our previous lectures. This Media mandatory bargaining code is related to Australia and as per this code entities like Google and Facebook will have to pay to the media outlets for using their content. It was in news recently because Australia passed this legislation. Now it has been formally passed. Next is Jasmine Harrison. So first thing first Jasmine Harrison is from UK that is United Kingdom. Recently she was in news because she became youngest woman to row Atlantic Ocean and she finished on top position in the 2020 Telisca Atlantic Challenge. Next is TRIPS that is trade related aspects of intellectual property rights. So TRIPS agreement is related to WTO that is World Trade Organization. Recently it was in use because India is in favor of waiver of these TRIPS norms for COVID vaccines. What is the argument of India? India is saying that because of these intellectual property rights, the price of vaccines will increase. But the developed countries are opposing this move of India. Why? Their argument is that if there won't be any intellectual property, then the pharma companies won't be interested in the research and development for the COVID related vaccines. So that is why this entire issue was in news. TRIPS stands for trade related aspects of intellectual property rights. Now please answer in comment box, which ministry in the government of India is the nodal authority for handling the intellectual property rights related issues. Draft national policy on migrant laborers. So recently this was released by Niti Ay. Mahasmriti Mahila Shashakti Karan. So this is a campaign in Maharashtra. Objective of this campaign is to spread awareness about different initiatives of the government so that women in rural areas can take benefit of these initiatives and steps can be taken for the women empowerment. So 
it is a campaign related to state of maharashtra next is b 1.526 so it is a variant of covid 19 that's why it was in news next is saral suraksha bima so recently irdai that is insurance sector regulator has launched a standard personal accident cover name is saral suraksha bima it has been launched by irdai now this policy will be mandatorily offered by the general and health insurers from 1st of april 2021 name is saral suraksha bima it has been launched by insurance regulatory and development authority now the product has a maximum assured sum of 1 crore and the minimum limit is 2.5 lakh in simplest term it is an insurance policy for the people and in this insurance policy you will have to pay the premium and depending on your premium you will get the insurance amount so maximum amount is 1 crore minimum is 2.5 lakhs it has been launched by irdai now all the general insurance companies and health insurance companies will have to offer this service from 1st of april 2021 next is mannathu padamnavan so he was a social reformer from kerala recently prime minister paid tribute to him on his jayanti now first and foremost thing is that he was a social reformer from Kerala. Second thing was that he was the founder of Nair Service Society. Next is FSCI, that is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. So this is the authority which fixed the limits of GMO, that is genetically modified organisms. And this is under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So two important points about GM. A, for the commercial crops, we have GEAC. That is Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee. So this committee is under MOEFCC. So for commercial release of GM crops, the nodal authority is GEAC. For food related products, the nodal authority is FSSAI. It is under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Next is Sita Ghadi Hills. So these are in Jharkhand. Recently, the place was in news because a Buddhist monastery was found in this area next is asia's largest cattle park so this is going to be in tamil nadu recently tamil nadu was also in news as it increased the retirement age to 60. next is china so recently china was in news as it announced that it is now free from extreme poverty next is mangalapuram so it is a place in kerala recently it was in news because india's first digital university was started in mangalapuram in kerala and this has been set up in and this has been set up in Kerala. Name is Kerala University of Digital Sciences, Innovation and Technology. That is Kerala University of Digital Sciences, Innovation and Technology. Next is State of School Feeding Worldwide. So this is a report by World Food Program. The headquarters of this World Food Program is in Rome. Rome is in Italy. In fact, the headquarters of FAO is also in Rome. FAO stands for Food and Agriculture Organization. Next is Mahamrityunja Temple. So this temple is in Assam. Recently it was in news because Home Minister attended a event in this temple. Next is City Innovation Exchange Platform. Recently this platform was launched by the Secretary of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. As the name suggests, it is a platform where innovators can come together to solve the problems related to cities. Next is Irakli Gariba Sivli. So recently he became the new Prime Minister of Georgia. Next is e Dakil portal. So this is a grievance redresser portal by Consumer Affairs Ministry. Recently this portal was in news as now the Consumer Affairs Ministry has decided to integrate it with CSC. What is CSC? It is Common Service Center. Next is FATF. So it is Financial Action Task Force. Recently it was in news because of its meeting and as per that meeting it was decided that Pakistan will stay in the grey list of FATF till June 2021. So FATF maintained two list, grey list and black list. Answer in comment box, what is the formal name of these list? Actually these grey list and black list names are informal names. So answer in comment box, what is the formal name? Right now, I think only two countries are in this black list. One is North Korea and second is Iran. Next is Dushyant Chotala. So recently he was in news because he has been re-elected as the president of TTFI, that is Table Tennis Federation of India. He has been re-elected. Presently, he is the Deputy Chief Minister of Haryana. Now, he was first elected in 2017. At that point of time, he became the youngest president of TTFI. Now, he has been re-elected 
for a period of four years. That means from 2021 to 2025. Next is Gautam Thakkar. So recently he was in news as he became the new CEO. That means global CEO of OLX Autos. Next is Stories I Must Tell. So it is a book by actor Kabir Bedi and it will be launched in April. Next is Kelo India Winter Games. So recently, second edition of Kelo India Winter Games started in Gulmarg and it is in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Next is Mahanadi Godavari. So recently, a task force approved the linkage of these two rivers. That means these two rivers will be linked so that surplus water from one river can be used in another river. Recently, it was in news because the task force approved this. Next is Mukhya Mantri Ghar Ghar Ration Yojana. So it is a scheme announced by Delhi government to provide the home delivery of ration. Delhi was also in news because of chart rap. Actually, this is app to book tickets related to DTC, that is Delhi Transport Corporation. So it is a mechanism to book ticket without any contact. That means contactless ticket booking. Delhi was also in news as recently Delhi government announced that all the departments in Delhi government will now use EV, that is electric vehicles. And the existing vehicles will be converted, converted in the sense that they will be replaced within next six months. To promote electric vehicles, Delhi also started a campaign. It is Switch Delhi. There is another campaign by the central government. It is Go Green. There is a scheme to promote electric vehicles. It is Fame. That was all for the day. Thank you and have a great day.